Buradaki bu kıyılı kailesi Ayşe validemizdir. Zalem tu sünnete men ahya zalame ile enişteket kadamahu zurre min veremi diyor. Kaside-i Bürede, Bürde'de İmam Busiri. Of the many things about Islamic scholar Fethullah Gulen, very little is known about an activity he partakes in every day, teaching. Gulen has been teaching students for decades. However, many are not aware of what he teaches, whom he teaches, and how he teaches. Teaching daily, seven days a week, Gulen teaches mainly classical Islamic texts, mostly written in the Arabic language, to a group of students, mainly graduates in Islamic studies, from different backgrounds, numbering more than 25, at the Golden Generation Retreat Center in Pennsylvania. For more than two years and ongoing, Sahih Muslim has been studied here and taught with a unique methodology and approach. In this hadith lesson, not only is the hadith itself read, but many details on the rijal, the narrators of the hadith, such as who they were, their teachers, students, what they were known for, their reliability as a narrator, and when they passed away, are also studied. Ne kadar öyle vaize ihtiyacımız var. Kalpleri yumuşatacak, ibadeti sevdirecek, insanın içindeki Allah aşkı Allah alakasını harekete geçirecek. After finishing a chapter or two, the thus far read hadith are revisited and analyzed based on the commentaries written on them over the centuries. Some students have been allocated the task of comparing these hadith with other hadith books to highlight differences in wording. Uh, Hojifani wants the students for us to look at the same hadith that's been narrated in Sahih Muslim, but different versions of it. Sometimes it could be because of the different narrators, or sometimes our Prophet himself may have said it in different ways and to look at those subtleties and what meaning that uh, gives us those differences. The other, the other set of commentaries that he's given is more commentaries that have analyzed this hadith, both from a senate, the chain, and the metin perspective. And it's there for us to see what legal rulings come out of these verses from terms of ahkam, but also sometimes if particular hadiths seem to go against certain rulings, let's say most of the students here and Hoji Fendi himself is a strong Hanafi, he will look at how would the Hanafis understand this hadith if it appears to go against their rulings and how do other um, scholars from other madhabs like the Shafi madhab, how would they analyze it. Uh, but also then there's also the, the spiritual side of those hadiths that I said. Uh, what meaning does it give us today? How can we apply these hadiths in the 21st century context? That perspective is also given. Uh, but we don't do that without looking at what the scholars before us, before us have said. Sünan-ı İbn Mace, İmam Taha Hazretleri Şerh-ü Müşkil Asar ve Şerh-ü Meali Asar ve Ali Sünan, Şerh-ü Sünan Ebi Davud, Hattabi Hazretleri ve Müstedrek Ali Sahihayn, İmam Hakim Hazretleri, İkmalül Mu'lim, Bi Fevaid-i Müslim Kadiyyas Hazretleri, Umdetül Gari, Şerh-ü Sahihil Bukhari, Bedrettin Ayni Hazretleri ve in zekerani fi melein zekertuhu fi melein hayrin minhum. İstidlal ederek İbn Battal Hazretleri meleklerin insanlardan daha faziletli olduklarını çıkarmıştır. It takes me preparing a discussion or presentation approximately four or five hours. It's not easy task. What I do is this. For example, in the circle we read two chapters on a specific topic. I actually personally read all the commentaries from that specific book that, that I am holding and take main points that is mostly relevant to our current time, modern time. And actually some points that I would like to see the interpretation of Hoca Efendi. There is an air of reverence and respect with the students sitting on the ground following a very traditional approach. And at the same time, 
With search engines and projector screens, it is hard to categorize this teaching methodology as classical or modern. Selefe, sahabeye, saygının yanında onların haklarını çiğnemeden her türlü fikir, her türlü görüş beyan edilme özgürlüğüne sahip. Birkaç gün önce sorulan bir soru da bazen insanların özgür fikirlerinin böyle geniş ortamlarda eriyebildiğini ya da insanlar kendi özgürce fikirlerini ifade edilemediği şeklinde bir soru sorulduğu zaman insanların böyle ortamlarda kendi görüşlerini ifade etmekten geri durmamalarını kendisi de bizzat söylemişti. Akili sen kıl namazın çün saadet ondadır. Namaz öyle bil ki o müminin miracıdır. İmam Rabbani'den nazmen tercüme edilen bir şey. As-salatu imadü'd-dinde Efendimiz sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem ayet.